I'm back. All right, let me address a few things. One, I know my hair looks like dog shit, so keep it to yourself. Um, I also have this sweet shirt on that says adultish because let's be honest, I'm really just not feeling the world today. Um, so sometimes I need to just kind of advertise what's going on right now. Um, I'm starving and I have been thinking about food all day today, even though I've eaten multiple times, I'm still hungry. Um, I am a chronic hangry girl. So yeah, there's that. So I want to talk to you about food, okay? I have a gluten allergy. I mentioned this in my first video. And not only do I have a gluten allergy, my mom does too. And it's been a really rough ride. Like I know gluten-free this and gluten-free that is a total fad now, but like 10 years ago, nobody fucking knew what gluten was, okay? It was just hanging out in things and no, it, it, it was always diagnosed as irritable bowel syndrome. Yeah, I said it. And that's pretty much what my mom went through. And she was on a bunch of medication. It didn't really help her. So she did her own research and started eliminating things from her diet and finally narrowed it down. So with that being said, she hasn't eaten gluten in probably a decade. So kudos to her. Um, I myself am probably about a year into not eating any gluten and I could not feel any better. I will say that I had severe anxiety, severe digestive, digestive, yeah, that's it, issues. And if I would eat something, I, I would find myself ready to shit my pants. And I hate saying that because I, I'm a female and I really shouldn't talk about that, allegedly. But fuck it. I can't go have a nice dinner, then go to the club and, and try to throw my back out by twerking it on the dance floor, but then poop. Like, that's not okay. So I stopped eating it and my anxiety is gone. I no longer have panic attacks. I can actually like go eat dinner and not worry about shitting on some dude in the club. It's fantastic. Um, <laughs> I'm actually able to keep weight on too. That was another thing that I was suffering from because I couldn't hold any vitamins in. I couldn't keep any nutrients. So I wasn't gaining any weight. It was awful. Um, yeah, so that's my story behind it. I'm not going to bore you with any more details. I did want to talk to you about snacks, though, man, because I will snack my fucking life away at any given time. Like, I always have food on me. And I love pretzels more than anything. So let's talk about these gluten-free pretzels. I probably should tell you what gluten is first, though, right? So we're talking about a composite of, like, storage proteins. And they're found in things like wheat, barley, rye, oats. So I can't eat things like pasta, bread pretzels, you know, pretty much sucks. Gluten's even found in seasoning, which I don't lie. No, whatever. Okay. These pretzels are a bomb. You guys, Snyder's of hangover or I'm not hungover. Snyder's of Hanover makes these and they're fantastic. So they've got a couple variations too. Um, they've got these mini pretzel sizes. They've got plain pretzel sticks. They also have buffalo flavor and honey mustard flavor and i'm not really somebody who digs on that honey mustard like that but they're actually really really good what else can i tell you they're crunchy and they're not dry they're not gross um they are absolutely fantastic and i've even done tests when i've thrown parties and i've put two bowls of pretzels out and not told people what was in them the gluten-free ones are gone every time so if you have a gluten allergy and you need some pretzels and you haven't discovered these yet, dude, go to your grocery store and pick them up. I have fries here at Albertsons and Sprouts and Trader Joe's and uh, Whole Foods or Whole Paycheck, I like to call them. Um, but they all carry them. And this little bag, I know it's, it's kind of small. Um, it's like eight ounces. It runs about $3.50. So, you know pretty expensive for a bag that's like a quarter of the size of the rest of them that you buy, but it's totally worth it. Um, I will say this. I've tried other pretzels before. Trader Joe's just put some out. No, I'm not. I'm sorry. I just, I don't like them. Glutino's also has a brand out and I wouldn't even give them to a bum. That's how bad they were. And I'm just, I'm being real because we take things out of our diet and sometimes food ends up tasting shitty. And I don't like that. I shouldn't have to compromise taste because I'm allergic to something. So pretzels are the bomb. Diggity dude, go to the grocery store, go pick them up. If you have any questions, let me know. Um, if they aren't sold in your area, do check on their website. I don't know if you can buy them online, but you may be able to get them from Amazon too. Okay. Thank you so much for spending your time with me and have a great day.